Hey guys, last week I saw that you were all uh, very upset that I shaved my beard, so I just want to apologize for that, but I mean, sometimes I like to switch it up, and you know, like it will grow back again, so uh, I'm a hairy person, if you didn't know, so it will do that. Also, just a shout out to uh, the guy in the comments I saw last week who explained my, why my voice is so weird. Thank you for remembering the story I told a while back, and yes, let's do tech news now. Today in an interview with CNET, the CFO of HTC, Qianling Chang, confirmed that the company would be launching a mobile VR device of sorts by the end of this year. HTC will actually be showing it off in the coming months, said Chang, but indicated that it will be a bit more complicated than headsets like Gear VR and Daydream. But the new headset will be compatible with HTC's new flagship phone, the U Ultra. Chang said that HTC has a good plan in terms of combining mobility with VR, and well, yeah, it would be interesting to see if HTC can come out with a more accessible version of the Vive that could actually be worth using without uh, having to vomit as a result. Um, sorry, I've had bad experiences with Gear VR. Haven't tried Daydream, but. Yeah, I believe in you, HTC. And just in time for Vulkan's birthday, Intel has added support for the API. Vulkan written games and VR applications will work with GPUs integrated into KB Lake and Skylake chips. It will also work with Intel HD Graphics 505 GPU in the Apollo Lake chip. It has previously been possible to run Vulkan games with NVIDIA or AMD drivers on GPUs, but that method turned out to be a bit shaky. Most Windows games currently run closed source DX12, but the open source Vulkan has similar features while using fewer system resources and the ability to generate images faster. So Vulkan applications will hopefully work with these Windows-based VR headsets coming out that will attach to Windows 10 PCs. We'll see. And apparently Amazon and Google are considering bringing voice calls to their smart home speakers. That is Echo and Home, respectively, in case you were wondering. There are still a number of things both companies need to consider in terms of privacy, emergency services, and regulation stuff, but this feature could come out at some point this year. Amazon still has to think about if the Echo could sync to your existing phone number, or if the device should get its own, whereas the Google Home would probably have an easier time syncing up to your already existing phone, if it's Android, anyways. Um, but, I mean, I don't have either of these devices, and I probably never will, so I don't really care uh, too much about this, if I'm honest, but, uh, so. It's time for shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. <laughs> Microsoft has officially announced E3 2017 with the date of Sunday, June 11th at 2 p.m. Pacific time. They also teased the Project Scorpio console reveal. I talked about the Apocalypse Now video game Kickstarter a few weeks ago, and they've already taken the crowdfunding from Kickstarter to their own newly launched website. The game producers funded 172,000 of their 900,000 goal on Kickstarter, but now they're asking for 5,900,000 for over, uh, for over 460 days from their own site. The game isn't supposed to launch until 2020, and this already sounds kind of ridiculous, but good luck, guys. <laughs> Apparently a new Watch Dogs 2 patch includes a new ending scene which hints at the location of London for Watch Dogs 3, but sorry if I spoiled that for you. EA is currently offering a seven-day free trial for its PC free game library service, Origin Access. Get on it, guys. And the AMD Ryzen box art has been revealed from Thailand, which isn't super exciting, but there's also pricing information from the Ryzen 7 1800X at around $550 to the Ryzen 3 110 at around $150. But I saw that on Hexus, which was converted from Thai currency to pounds, which I then c converted to... American dollars, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust me, guys. Too many layers. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Woo! Brandon Vladimir, I'm cheering for you because, because it's your birthday. And that's what people do on your birthday. They cheer for you, so have a great one. Hey guys, if you didn't know, NCIX PC is in the 2017 Intel Rig Challenge. So, we need your help. So please, uh, please go and vote for us. And when you share the contest, you, uh, you're actually also entered to win an Asus GTX 1070. So, get on that. The links are down below. And uh, help us out, why don't you?
We are the Ivan Anonymous, and we want you to vote for NCIX during Intel Extreme Rig 2017 challenge. Otherwise, many gets it. And we will also download your virus. Hack your motherboard. And fry your CPU. Because in Soviet Russia, the vote casts you. Time is ticking. <laughs>